All right, guys, welcome. This is uh, Wednesday, March 18th. Um, we're coming to you live from the gym. No one here, as you guys know. Um, we have a nice workout today. Uh, we're going to think about intensity. We have four different movements. Um, we're going to go one minute of each movement with a nice rest at the end. We're going to go four rounds of that. All right. Um, before we dive into that, we're going to go over the warm up. Our lovely demo here, Aaron, is going. Oh, I shouldn't have touched you. I'm sorry. Um, he's going to go over the movements um, for our warm up today. All right. So, first off, we have the inchworm. You guys have done these. We're going to reach tall. Yeah. Touch the toes. Legs straight. Walk those hands out. There you go. Now lay down. Arch the chest. Good. Get in there. Nice. Hips up. Good. Awesome. Keeping the legs nice and straight as you walk back up. We're going to go five inchworms. Next one, 10 reps of a Samson stretch, five on each leg. Lunge out. Let's hover that back knee off the ground. Push his hips forward and they reach nice and tall. Nice. Awesome. Good. Stand back up. We got two hand touchdowns. You guys have done these. Touch the toes. Reach nice and tall. Yeah, get down in there. That was nice. Whoa, head rush. Good. Awesome. Um, and then last one, we're going to go 20 seconds of some high knees. Nice and easy. Go for it. Wow, it's athletic, that's nice. Good, relax, awesome, cool. So you guys go through that warm up, let's go three rounds of that, or about 10 minutes of movement. Just try and get the heart rate up before we dive into this next, this next piece, all right? Um, guys, next thing, movements. We're gonna go over the movements, and then I'll brief you guys one last time on kind of the structure, and then, uh, and then we'll dive right into it, all right? So, first thing, we have lateral jumps. Um, based off of what you guys have equipment-wise, either grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell, whatever you guys have, we're gonna do some lateral jumps over those. So right now, we're gonna grab a kettlebell just to start. Just like it sounds, he's gonna jump over, he's gonna start on one side, hop over off of two feet, side to side. Show us about maybe eight reps there, Aaron. Yeah, heck yeah. Nice, cool. Um, guys, if you do not have those, a scaling option today is just gonna be jumping jacks, uh, nice and easy, just like when we were in PE when we were a kid. Um, not many years ago for me. Um, but we're gonna, go, we're gonna go with those, the, uh, the jumping jacks, the scaling option for the lateral jumps. All right, uh, next thing, ground to overhead. This is gonna be a little tricky. If you guys do have a dumbbell, it's gonna be great. You're gonna go with a dumbbell snatch. Okay, Aaron, will you demo that? Yeah. Heck yeah. Very good, awesome, cool. And if you guys have, if you guys do not have a dumbbell, we're gonna go with a kettlebell snatch. Okay, go for that, Aaron. Push over from the ground and the hang. Uh, let's go from let's go from the hang. Okay. Yeah, good question. Yeah, yeah nice. Okay, guys, so on there we're gonna go with a hang kettlebell snatch. Awesome, very good, and set it down. Cool. Guys, alternate wherever you guys want on that. Um, again, we're just going for total reps in that minute. Um, next one, we're gonna go hand release push-ups. Go for it, Aaron. Lay it down there. We'll go over the scaling option once we're done with that. So hand release push-up, guys. Nice rigid midline, nice flat back. Let's go all the way down to the chest. Release the hands off the ground. Good guys, stay right, stay right there, Aaron. So guys, right here, we wanna think about keeping the kneecaps off of the ground. Okay, nice flat back. Now stand, or come back up. Awesome, and let's go about three more, Aaron. Beautiful, very good. Now, scaling option, you guys. We're gonna go from the knees here, same exact thing, releasing the hands at the bottom. There you go, awesome, nice, Aaron. Good, and stand back up, cool. Guys, those are gonna be hand release push-ups for today. Last thing, we're gonna go with some weighted squats. Again, whatever you guys have, kettlebell, dumbbell, demo, demo with, the, with the dumbbell right now, cool. Um, guys, with the weighted squats, you're gonna grab uh, each side, each head of the dumbbell, just kind of have it up here in his chest, and nice squat like we did here earlier. Great, let's go five squats. Perfect. Yeah, great, cool. Awesome, guys, so um, those are gonna be the movements. Um, yeah, squat with the kettlebell a little bit, go for it. <laughs> Um, and then guys, at the end of there, we're gonna have a rest. So the structure today, again, we're gonna think about intensity. So we have one minute of each. We have one minute lateral jumps, one minute ground overhead, one minute hand release push-ups, one minute weighted squats, and then a minute rest, okay? We're gonna go four rounds total. I want you guys thinking about maintaining consistency over uh, the movement, right? So don't think about total reps for the round. I want you guys thinking about maybe if you got uh, 20 lateral jumps, maybe the next round, same exact thing, maybe 20, maybe 19 or 18 lateral drums, and then same thing, maybe the ground overhead, you got 20 or 30 reps, thinking about staying consistent over each round, okay? Um, guys, have fun with it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know, comment uh, to whatever you guys are on social media, either uh, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, or email us, yeah, <laughs> email us at info, uh, that works too. Um, anyway, anyway, guys, uh, have a good time, and uh, hope this helps. T talk to you later. <laughs>